You look at my resume, you look at who I fought for the last 15 years, they've all been, been world-class opponents. And I, and I wanted a world-class opponent and I wanted to challenge myself. I will welcome Elio to do MMA. Big moment for me. I've, I've always said my whole career that when the time is right, that I would eventually step into a, a cage and fight under MMA rules. My plan was to never actually be a Thai boxer. It was always to just be a martial artist and fight with whatever was thrown at me. MMA is different. He knows what he The win through stoppage or submission or however it comes is just going to be the icing on the cake. The MMA Stop. debut of Elliot Compton. Oh, immediately, I like this. Lateral movement, very light on the feet, is Oyama. I like that he's coming around on these angles. You do not want to stay in front of a guy like Elliot Compton, who's already very patient. Putting out some feelers, checking the reactions of Oyama, who doesn't mind being up against the cage. I mean, not initially. That could mean that Elliot Compton gets himself into a grappling exchange where he's no slouch, but he's most definitely untested. No, Oyama is definitely comfortable against the cage. I watched a lot of his fights coming into this. He likes doing quite a bit of work off the cage, actually, so that's not going to bother him at all. He's almost got like a capoeira style, the way that he's, he's moving on that triangle. Well, I want to know how long it's going to take him to shoot. <laughs> 100%. Be careful what you wish for, though. Depends what sort of position you end up in. Elliot Compton, if he ends up on top, now you've got to deal with him there as well. Throwing those strikes down. Obviously, those vicious thigh elbows. Leaping lead hook there. Oyama trying to close that distance. It is a struggle that he's going to have throughout the entire fight. Oh. Nice big right hand lands there from Elliot. Yeah, that right hand just bounced off the head of Oyama, who just ate it like a sandwich. He's still really in there. Trying to get the measure of Compton. Oh, oh big knee hit! That's a huge knee. He's trying to finish! Big ever fists! Oyama, though, he's got his senses about him. Oh, oh he, was he was down there! He was down! Was he well, down? Oh, he's caught it off! It's the end of the fight! Yeah, I don't yeah. think he has. I think he was up. Yeah. I think it might have been perfect timing from Elliot Compton. I'm not quite sure. So hard to tell. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I think, I think that's uh, landed up? clean. He was up. He was up. Pete Hickmont is saying that he was up. So that is a Incredible. round one knockout for Elliot Compton. Wow. He timed it perfectly then. I mean, that's incredible. So quick, just happened so fast. And look, he's just found out that it wasn't an illegal strike. Jumps up on the cage, soak it in, Elliot Compton. It's taking a long time for him to make his MMA debut, but now he's here, ladies and gentlemen. He's here now. Free mouth guards for everyone. And he's here to stay. Oh, 100%. Vicious. Vicious. I mean, I think every single strike he threw counted. It really didn't. After that big first right hand landed, you've seen the damage done. Here's the replay, Jake. Talk us through this, mate. Boom! Oh. You see that knee come straight up the middle. He's going to work here. Now watch the timing on this knee as he's getting up to his feet. Couple Hammer of shots fist here. To land in. Yeah. And now let's see. He he's up. Oh. He's up. He was up. It looks to be that way there, but absolutely fantastic knee. This will be a better angle, I believe. Boom! Oh, There's the first that. one. That is beautiful. Oyama starts to try and work. He's trying to look for a single there. So difficult. He gets into a sprawled out position. He's got two knees down there. He comes up onto one foot. Yeah, so both feet up. Yeah, he's up. 100%. He, 100% he's up. He came he up threw that strike, as he was coming he down. He was up. That is a fantastic call by the bull, Peter Hickmont. One of the greatest referees, not only in Australia, but the world. And now we're going to throw it over to James O'Shea to give us the announcement. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, make some noise for your main event fighters. It certainly was worth the wait. A big thank you to Trainer HQ, the sponsor of our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute 35 of round number one. 
and your winner by TKO and what an MMA debut. Give it up for your red corner fighter, Elliot the Dragon Compton! And we will definitely sneak in a word here to Elliot. James, go over and grab him. Here he is, the man of the hour. All right, ladies and gentlemen, yep. Let's hear from the man of the hour, Elliot, Elliot the Dragon Compton. Elliot, it was a long time coming. It was much anticipated. Was it everything that you could have imagined your MMA debut tonight? Man, I just got to say thank you to everybody in this crowd, man. I've fought at some of the biggest, scariest, baddest stadiums in the world. But this, man, this, you can't beat this shit. So thank you so much. Man, this means the world to me. I've, been, I've had a rough 18 months in my career. I've had to make some serious decisions. I walked away from a major organization, and I hit rock bottom. But if it wasn't for my family, my team, my brothers, I probably wouldn't be here now. So thank you to those guys. Hey, hey. you got to hear me out on this. You guys can scream loud, but you guys got to get it up for Damo and Mitch, man. Those guys worked their ass off for this show, and I'm so grateful, man. Thank you. <laughs> Takuya Oyama, everybody. Give it up for this man. He flew across the world to fight the dragon, and that ain't no easy feat. This shit's a long time coming, and there's a lot of people that wanted to see me fall flat on my face, but there was a lot more people that wanted to see me win. So fuck all those other guys, and thank you to you guys. I love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Big shout out to my dad, my coach. He's been in my corner from day one. If anyone knows who Steve Compton is, you give it up for this man right here. He's a pioneer of Australian MMA, so don't you doubt us. <laughs> but in all honesty, from the bottom of my heart, I'll remember this night forever. Thank you to my team, to Maddie, to my wrestling coach, Dom, Dom Marfan. If you don't know him, you soon will. Jane and Binny, one of the best jiu-jitsu guys in the country, hands down. Aaron Blackie, Damian Brown, Blair, all the boys, JJ, you name them. To the guys that fought tonight, Rog and Ethan, I'm so grateful for you guys, and thank you to everyone who spent their hard-earned money to come support me. Thank you. Yeah, give it up for everybody. It's Elliot Compton. I don't know if I've got any more questions, but I want you to describe to us the feeling of walking to this cage, this crowd tonight, what that did for you. I don't normally walk out to Madonna, right? But I was, I was driving home from practice a few weeks ago, and it came on the radio, and there's a line that says, I hear you call my name, and it feels like home. This is my home, man. I fought here for, for, even, uh, sorry, for legacy promotions a number of times. I've had some of my best fights in this, in this, uh, this arena, if you will, and man... Thank you. For, man, I had goosebumps walking out. I was like screaming and yelling backstage. You should come outside and you guys make me cheer and make me happy. So, man, that's why I put on my best performance. So thank you very much. And uh, last, last but not least, because I'm sure, talk us through the performance. Talk us, what, what do you remember of, of that minute 35? Yeah, man, like we knew Takuya Ayama had some slick submissions. I knew what he was looking for. I knew he had that mean left hook. I know you thought you landed at once, but it hit my shoulder. Just got to let you know. Um... So we knew what he was coming with, man. We, you know, like, we, we did our homework. But for the, those of you that think I'm just a striker, that's bullshit. I'm not just a striker. I'm a Brazilian jiu-jitsu brown belt. I wrestle every day. And I have done since I was a kid. I'm an MMA fighter, man. I'm an MMA fighter that's been fighting Thai boxing for 60 fights. But I'm here now. I, uh, I let everybody know what's up. And uh, I'm just looking forward to taking the fights that excite me moving forward. You know, I've had 60 fights now. And I want the good hard challenges that get me fired up. And uh, Ayama brought that shit tonight, so thank you. I promise, last question, that I'll let you go. What's next for Elliot the Dragon Compton? I'll see you guys in October. Let's go! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for him. So there you go. Make some noise one more time. He is from right here in Brisbane. Your first main event winner of Beatdown Promotions. This is Elliot the Dragon Compton! Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Here's some highlights. Jake, talk us through the finish here, mate. I mean, incredible. Just the timing of it. One, on the knockdown. And two, is the knee when he could feel from his clinch position. 
that he was coming up. And he you'll knew see to it right here. You'll go. see it right He's here. Up. He He's was up. up. He's up. It's because he was coming back down. It looked like he was down, but it was a split moment. Elliot would have felt his pressure, his weight coming up, let that knee go, he did exactly that. It just so happened that it looked like Oyama was coming back down. Totally clean knee, totally devastating knee. I mean, it was worse because Oyama was coming back down as the knee was coming back up. All right, and we're going to throw it over to James to say goodnight for the evening. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, so to all of our live audience here tonight, well, what do you say, Eaton Hill, do you enjoy Beatdown Promotions' first show? So on behalf of Damien Brown, everyone involved with Beatdown Promotions, thank you for being a wonderful audience. Thank you to our viewers for watching at home as well. We hope you enjoyed all of the action. Stay tuned for Beatdown Promotions' next big promotion. Thank you and good night.